Hello, and welcome to my tutorial for Unreal Tournament 3, adding in teleporters. And this is what I hope to accomplish with this tutorial. A teleporter that teleports you from one room to another and then back again. Alright, so there are two simple steps to making a set of teleporters. First, you place the teleporters in your level, and then you link the two teleporters. So, without further ado, let's get to it. First off, placing the teleporters. You open the generic browser, and then go into the Actor Classes tab, and then you go into Navigation Point, Teleporter, UT Teleporter Base, and Teleporter and then you right click and go down to add UT teleporter here and then you want to have two teleporters because you want to go between teleporters so you're gonna have to add two of them after you do that you can close the generic browser as you're not going to need it for the rest of the game now I'm making a smiley face level which will become important in about one second. Now, to link the two teleporters, there's two properties we're going to have to play with on both of them. And to play with those properties, we right-click and select UT Teleporter Properties. And then, in the Object tab and the Teleporter tab are where both of these are. First off is the tag, which is the name of the teleporter that we are currently editing and then the URL which is the teleporter that a player will be warped to as soon as the teleporter gets activated. So for a tag I'm going to use a name that actually pertains to the level so I'm going to call it right eye because I'm making a smiley face and the teleporter is located in the right eye and then for the URL top right mouth for the same reason. Next I'm going to switch over to my other teleporter, call the, the tag of this one, top right mouth, and the URL, right eye. Now I'm going to rebuild the level, and you guys are going to notice two things that are wrong with it once I start playing the level, when Unreal decides to stop taking a dump all over its face. Um, these, this error list will be explained in a moment. So I'm going to play the level and I'm going to use this teleporter to go into the room and here's my teleporter. Pretty high up. Pretty sure it's out of normal reach. And that explains where is it? Uh, well, anyway, one of the errors was saying that essentially saying that this teleporter was unable to be reached, and that's because of its Z position. So you have to lower the Z position so that way it's on the floor. So then I'll just rebuild the level again. And then there will be one more problem with it that won't be so apparent until I actually start playing through the level. So I warped through and I'm about to go through this teleporter however it puts me smack dab in the wall and if I go backward if I go forwards through this it'll put me smack dab in the wall and the easiest way to fix this is 
by looking at the arrows on the teleporters. If you'll notice, both, both of these teleporters have arrows on them. And those arrows indicate which way the player is going to come out after going through the opposite teleporter. So, if we rotate this one 180 degrees and rebuild the level, Gosh. Yep, that's awesome. Remembering to acci not accidentally start building the whole level again because it's a waste of time. I'm going to go to play all. Play level. And now I can walk through the teleporter and it functions just fine. And I go through it the other way, it works perfectly again. However, there is still another problem with this. Um, your players could attempt to go through the teleporter backwards in order to get, or they could go through the teleporter backwards and then end up facing the wrong way. So the easiest thing, or the easiest way to fix it, is to jam these teleporters as close up to the wall as possible. So that way, your players have less of a chance of getting behind the teleporter, even though there's really no reason to do so, due to the fact that it would put you at a severe disadvantage. However, players are stupid and will find a way to break anything. So that about wraps up this tutorial and leave a comment in the section below telling me which video you want me to do next and anything I missed and I'll see you next time.